What's good everybody, it's Mr. Nike SB6 back again. This is going to be my first discussion video. I'll probably do a couple more. Um, this topic is going to be on the whole Nike SB Jordan brand thing. People are you know, always down in Jordan lately because of the quality on their shoes and you know telling people Nike SB is better, Jordan is better, whatever the case may be. I'm going to state um, you know, my opinion on it. And please, in the comment section below, let me know how you feel. If you agree, if you don't agree. If you don't agree, why don't you agree? And, you know, just give me your thoughts on the whole discussion and the topic. But, um, besides that, we'll start off with that Black Cement. When the Black Cement back in the days came out, you know, first uh, Tinker Hatfield design, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, and um, classic sneaker. You know, first sneaker to have the elephant print on it which the elephant print from there on was on plenty of shoes and just as a classic look for Nike in general. So, you know, first sneaker with it on and, and quality, of course. Back then, the leather was just so fine, you know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, Jordan Brand paid more attention to their quality back then for reasons like, you know, people back then did play ball on them, you know, and it was the start of their brand. So if it's the start of their brand, they have to put nothing but good out there. They're not going to put cheap quality because they didn't make a name yet. You know what I mean? Like they weren't big enough to put bullshit quality on the shoe. 2002, Nike SB comes out with their line. Now they're new to the skateboard scene. They already have a whole bunch of different companies with uh, skateboard shoes that people were, you know, shredding up. So now Nike comes in and wants a part of this. You're not going to put bullshit quality on a sneaker. You have something to prove. You have to look good. So what they do? They do nothing but the best quality. Look at this. The molders from back in the days. This leather, like nothing's going to happen to this leather. Just excellent quality. And then, you know, now we see, say this shoe, Grand Purples. I love these shoes. I think they're awesome. It has a great look. The suede on it, it's bullshit, it's cheap. So how'd you go from, and the leather, forget it, I don't want to talk about the leather, but how'd you go from this to this? So 2002 when this dropped, they had something to prove. They had to get some kind of fan base. Now, they already have the fan base. They have people buying it just to resell the sneakers. These sneakers are going to sell regardless because of hyped up kids out there. So now it's just too easy. So why would I put all that great quality when I don't need to anymore? That's my personal thing, opinion on why they don't put the best quality. But then at the same time, you know, people said, oh, their quality has gone down. Yeah, I know this was a great shoe and this has great quality and this one doesn't. And quality's bullshit on SBs now. But what happened when this released? When these Kozix released just recently, Blue Box Series, come on. You gotta tell me this quality it wasn't A plus. This is excellent, excellent. So to say that SB has gone from great to shit is bullshit because they're still dropping things like this. So that's my opinion on uh, Janowski's. Bullshit suede. We used to get good suede in the Janowski's, but you know uh, 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 this sneaker for the pro model has made so much noise and everybody fucking picks them up. So why throw? excellent quality on this shoe. People are going to buy it regardless. They don't need to. Besides that, um, I feel like Jordan Brand sells regardless. That's their reason, of course, for not putting great quality. Uh, you know, their shoes crack and chip and, and paint falls off and glue stains and this and that. I don't get that with this. All right, so the suede and the leather ain't all that. But there ain't no glue stains in my shit. There ain't no stitching popping off. You know, uh, th there's no cracks on this midsole. You know, it's not falling apart. You know, I can skate these up right now and they'd, they'd last me a good, you know, for a, good, a good couple of sessions, which which I think that's that's the factor right there. Why I buy an XPSV and I don't wear Jordan, right? I can do a wear test on a pair of Jordans and do a wear test on a pair of Nike SBs. And I'm talking just wearing, not skating. This shoe will last me forever compared to a Jordan. Shout out to Feeding the Streets Elias. I see him rocking the, the 2012 Premies, the red. 
he rocks him like on a fucking daily basis and this shoe is not falling apart. Like it's, you know, it stands firm. It's, it's a great shoe. Well, you do that to a fucking new Jordan that just released and it's gonna fall apart. It's bullshit, you know? If you're buying and you're putting your money in it, why can't they give you at least quality enough that the shoe won't fall apart? That's my whole thing. Um, besides that, I wanna show you a sneaker that um, you know kind of goes in this discussion pretty well, so let's do that right now. Okay, so here we have the Zoom Trek. This shoe, when it released, uh, I tried my best to get every colorway. Uh, mixing it with the dunks and everything was kind of hard, so I missed out on a lot of them. But this shoe is indestructible. You could skate this and skate it and skate it and skate it every single day on a daily basis, and nothing is going to happen to this shoe. And now they don't make this shoe anymore. So things like that make you think. Why would a Nike SB make this shoe anymore if it is such a perfect skate shoe and nothing will happen to it? Simply because if I buy it and I skate it every day and nothing happens to it, then I'm not gonna have to go back to the skate shop to buy another sneaker. Less sells, that's it. No more sales because this sneaker is holding up so damn well that I don't need to buy another one. So what do they do? Trash that sneaker. Gone, no more zoom tricks. Well, that's things that you know you look at Nike as uh, you know as a brand, and you get mad and you think, why would you do that? You know, it's, it's hurting my pocket. It's, it's it's fucking it up because you want to support it because you like sneakers so much. But then they do something like that and get rid of a shoe like that that you can wear out and nothing's gonna happen to it, and they they crash it. For those reasons, because of sales, because they know that with that shoe, less money is going to be made. So instead, keep on pumping out dogs, keep on pumping out this with, with bullshit suede. Because they know that's going to rip up and you're going to need another one of these. Or you're going to need another one of these. You know, and, and if Nike was your brand, I'm sure you would do the same thing. It's just marketing shit. It's smart. But at the same time, we still do get this quality. Because this shoe has excellent quality. That's my opinion. And um, we'll get another discussion video going very soon. And please leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts on it. And um, you already know my thoughts. You already know my opinion. Nike SB over Jordan any day. Because I can wear any SB for a week straight and shit's happening to it. I can wear this for a year straight and wear a Jordan for a week straight and a week and that Jordan is torn up in a week. So that's my reason for always picking Nike SB over it. Besides that, thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Plenty more bits to come. I'll see you guys next time for another one.